Thanks for joining me today. We're going to do a short, balance-focused workout. So as always, we start by warming up, marching on the spot. Let's roll our shoulders up and back a couple more times. And then one arm at a time, we're going to circle our arms up and back, opening our shoulders, opening across the chest. So just a reminder for this workout, I recommend wearing running shoes, supportive shoes that lace up. And we're going to stay close to a wall and or a chair for support. When we challenge our balance, we want to at the same time be sure that we're safe. Safety is first. So one more arm circle each side and then come back to your march. And let's start tapping our heels forward. Heel taps forward and then bring your palms to face forward and push those hands. Push and push as we're tapping our heels. So our warm up, we wanna move our body in all directions, getting our heart rate up and our breathing rate up, preparing our body to safely exercise. It's also good for our heart. So if you're feeling pretty balanced here, feeling good, you could add a cross across midline with that tapping foot. So it kind of looks like this. We just bring the foot to cross over. And anything I suggest is all options. You listen to your own body first, modify, do what feels right for you. We'll do a couple more of these crosses and then come back to tapping straight forward. And let's change our arms to swings. Bring your arms down and as you're tapping your feet, we're just doing some big arm swings. Keep swinging your arms and we'll tap our toes back. Reaching back with legs, tap your toes. And then again, option here to cross midline. So you're just bringing that tapping toe back and crossing over. Keep going with this move, switching arms to an uppercut across your body. A little punching move here. And maybe you come a little bit lower. So bending into knees. See how that feel, feels for your joints. We'll go four, three, two, we'll come back up to march, march it out, roll the shoulders again up and back. Nice work. All right, we'll pause here. We should be nice and warm now. A few walking drills. So I'm gonna recommend that you are close to a wall and you're either gonna have your fingertips on the wall or um, hovering so that you can put your hand down anytime. We're going to imagine in front of us a line on the floor and we're going to walk along that line. So we're putting one foot in front of the other. Or you could also imagine you're lining up your heels and toes. So we have our hand ready or fingertips on the wall as we walk. And then let's pause here. We'll turn the other way. And when you turn, just stop for a moment, check in to see if you felt any dizziness and positioning our hand again, we're gonna do that one more time, walking on an imaginary line. Now I have some space between my feet and you could have a thicker line so that um, you have a little more uh, left to right between the feet. Turn around again, we'll do another walking drill here. This time we're gonna come up on our tippy toes. We're either gonna have fingertips on the wall or hovering, and then we're just gonna walk on our tippy toes. Keeping heels lifted, and then come down onto your heels, turn around, going back the other way up on your toes. Nice. Standing close to a chair, or you could be beside the wall, we're gonna have our hands on our support. And if you are using a chair, make sure it's a sturdy chair that you're not gonna 
um, tip over. So balance, um, one of the components is vision. And so we want to start here by finding a spot to focus our vision on the floor. We're going to keep looking at one spot. We're also going to think about engaging our core muscles. So kind of pulling the belly button slightly towards the spine, a little bit of a scoop of those lower abdominals in and up, feeling that upper body lifting, nice tall spine, finding that spot to focus on, putting your weight into the foot closest to your chair or the wall. Other leg, we're just gonna lift our knee up in front of us. Now, see how you feel here if this is feeling unsteady, keep a good uh, grip on your support. If you're feeling fairly balanced, you could play around with coming lighter onto these fingertips or even lifting and lowering or hover your hand. Just know you always have it there to put down at any moment. So we have this tall spine, belly pulled in. Let's do a couple more breaths if you're still with me. If you put your foot down, you can just lift it again. Hand down and leg down and let's just shake it out. So this is great training for balance. Also good strengthening for that supporting leg. So we're gonna stay with the same leg lifted. So foot closest to your support, putting the weight into that foot. And this time we're gonna bend our knee and lift the outside leg foot behind us. Standing nice and tall, finding our spot to focus on. When you're ready, lift your hand and hover or keep your fingertips lightly on your chair or on the wall. We're breathing, we're focused. If your foot comes down, just take a moment, lift it up again. We'll have one more full breath. And then hand down and foot down and give it a shake. Nice work. All right, we're gonna go to the other side. So you could just turn around at your support. I'm gonna turn and use the wall this time. So same idea, I'm going to think about engaging my core, tall spine, hand on my support, weight into the foot closest to the wall or the chair. Outside leg, I'm gonna lift my knee in front of me. Checking in on how balanced I'm feeling and maybe I hover my hand or maybe I just come lighter onto that hand. You want to find just the right amount of challenge for yourself. Breathing. Another breath. And then arm comes down, foot comes down. Shake everything out, just let it go. Don't hold on to, you know, I had to put my foot down a few times. Whatever happens, happens, and we're just building here. So we're going to do the other balance on this side. Again, core engaged, standing tall, hand on my support, bending my knee, bringing my foot up behind me. Vision is focused. Thinking about my breath. I can hover my hand if I'm feeling balanced. Another breath, and then foot down, hand down, and give it a shake. We'll do a couple strength-based um, body weight exercises that will contribute to improved balance. So standing nice and tall, and you can put your hands just on your lower belly, so below your belly button. And just imagine you're trying to pull your hips towards each other. And you should, as you think about pulling the hips together, feel a little bit of flattening or engagement of those lower abdominal muscles. So that's what we want to feel for core engagement. So keeping that, arms at your side, we're going to slowly lift and lower our knees, alternating sides. So you're lifting one side and lower and the other side. So similar to what we did in our warm up, but we're going a little bit slower so that we have to balance on the supporting leg. Now you can do this with your hand on your chair or your hand on your wall. Again, check in what feels right for you. 
adding on, as we lift one knee, the opposite arm is going to come all the way up to the ceiling. If your hand's on your chair, then you can just do it with the one side. That's totally fine. If you do this video a few times, you might start by, um, you know, choosing one modification. And then as you go along, you might see if you could hover a hand, do something a little bit different. Always breathe, and we'll go four, three, two, one. Nice work, arms down. I always like to roll my shoulders up and back just to remind me to bring my shoulders back. We do so much during the day where our arms are forward, which brings our shoulders forward. And so when we're exercising, we like to open up. Standing tall, belly pulled in. We're gonna bring one foot, bring our toes forward. So just lightly touching the toes forward. The other leg, we have most of our weight on the supporting leg and lightly on these toes that are forward. Keeping all of that, again, option is to have your hand on your support. I'm gonna bring both fingertips behind my ears with my elbows wide. Now, if this is feeling like a lot of challenge, stay right here. I'll give you one more option, which is we're going to twist from the waist and twist slightly towards the side of that forward leg. So I have this toe forward and I'm twisting to that side and then back to center, nice and slow. So we're gonna continue twisting and coming to center, same side. So this is taking that vision, focus, and making it a little bit more challenging because as we turn, we can't stay focused on one spot. So it's a little challenge for our balance here and we'll do one more here. Come back to center, bring those arms down, shake out the legs, shake out the arms, let it all go. Other side, and a reminder, your two sides can be very different. Fingertips behind the ears, elbows wide, belly pulled in. Either stay right here, stay with a hand on the support, or twisting toward the side of that forward leg and back to center. Nice and slow. The little pause each time we twist. This is great for our upper body mobility. Let's do one more here. Arms come down, foot comes down, give it all a shake. We'll do one more body weight strength. This time I'm gonna plant my feet wide apart. Toes are pointing out. I'll start with my hands on my hips. And then I'm going to bend into my knees, tracking my knees wide over my ankles. So this is a wide-legged squat or a sumo squat. I'm keeping my upper body upright. From here, again, I'm gonna bring fingertips behind my ears, thinking about wide collarbone, shoulders back, elbows wide. We're gonna keep our legs exactly as they are. As you're doing this next exercise, if your legs need a break, feel free anytime to straighten your legs, have a breath, and then come back into it. Side bend over to one side. Reach that hand down to your bent knee. Bring it back up, back to center. We're gonna to go to the other side. Side bend over, reaching down, fingertips up, and come to center. We're going to keep going side to side. So imagine there's a wall right in front of you and a wall right behind you. So we're not leaning forward, we're not leaning back, we're going straight over to the side. We're working on um, a few different things here, including our oblique muscles, side of the waist. So this is a core exercise and some balance and of course some leg work. Lots going on. Always remember to breathe. And we'll do one more each side. Last one 
here. Nice work. Come back to center. Straighten those legs. Let the arms come down. Give everything a nice shake. So as we always start with a warm up, we always finish with a cool down, a few stretches. Let our heart rate come back down, our breathing rate come back down, and bringing our body back to closer to a resting state. So I'm gonna um, put my fingertips on my chair, and you could also do this um, on a wall, hands on a wall. We're gonna do a calf stretch. So I'm gonna step one foot back, my front, uh, knee is going to be bent just over top of my ankle and the toes of both feet are facing forward So I'm not bringing my toes out to the side. I have toes pointing forward So check in with that and then lifting the upper body We want to feel this stretch in that back leg in our calf into our Achilles tendon and heel and just breathing here Slowing our breath down for our cool down. One more big breath in and out. And then let's switch legs. Step that foot forward, other leg comes back. Forward knee is bent right over top of the ankle. Checking, checking in that my toes are pointing forward. And then I'm lifting my chest. I might be Slightly pushing that back heel down a little bit and breathing. Full breaths. Let's have one more big breath. Stepping the foot forward. Place the palms of your two hands on your lower back or clasp your hands at your lower back. And then once you have your hands in place, just think about lifting the chest slightly, bringing the shoulders back slightly, opening up through the front of the body, and breathe. Let's have another full breath. And then release your hands, clasp your hands forward, extend your arms in front of you. This time I'm letting my shoulders come forward slightly. I'm gonna let my chin fall to my chest, just a nice big stretch for that upper back, into my neck. Letting my shoulders stay down away from my ears. hands, bring your arms down, roll the shoulders again. We'll finish with three big breaths. So as you inhale, let your arms come out to the side, reach up to the ceiling, and as you exhale, let your arms come down. And we'll do that two more times. Big breath. Exhale. One more here. Big breath in. And let it out. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day.